Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool um, cyborg effect on people. Uh, yeah, I know it's, it looks kind of funny and uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. But to do this, uh, you're going to need to download this, well it doesn't have to be this specific robot. But um, yeah, you can literally find any kind of robot. You can look up the Terminator, he's got a few, um, a few good photos, but you need just the head. So that's something that you must bear in mind. So, um, or something that you can just see the, the the robot head on. So I found that this image works the best. So to find it, all you need to do is type in robot assassin, and it's just in the third row. And yeah, right there. Just download that, and we're going to be using that. And the second link is a link to all these pro players just standing there. It's it's quite um, quite good a library of photos that I use when doing edits for pro players. Uh, yeah, I'm using picture of Crim6, so yeah, this link will be in the description for you to download for yourself as well. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's get into it. Uh, this is what we're going to be making, and yeah, okay, let's just restart. So as you can see, we don't actually do any mod, um, edit, editing to the actual photo, although we, although we could, but uh, we're not. Um, yeah, so we're just going to be using a broad, um, a broad photo, just nothing edited to it, nothing added to it, I mean. And we're just gonna drag open and um, I mean import our robot that we downloaded earlier. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down the opacity and now uh, just turn it down so you can still see the facial features of the robot, but you still need to be able to see the person in the background as well. Uh, so, yeah, so we're just gonna press Command T and now we can just make it smaller because what we need to do is we kind of need to match up all the facial features. So all the eyes need to be in the same place. And all yeah, all of that stuff. So there we go. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's pretty simple. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our robot layer, and we're gonna click on the mask tool. And now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our eraser, and we're just gonna make sure that our eraser is quite big, and it's gonna go over the whole thing. And yeah. So now we didn't actually erase the actual image. We just erased the mask. So yeah, you might that might be quite a hard to concept to get around if you haven't used masks before. But uh, yeah, um, we're going to be bringing it'll, it'll it'll become more apparent on what's what we're doing as the con as the tutorial con continues. So um, yeah, just follow what I'm doing and you'll get the hang of it. And because I know that everything's lined up, and if I wanted just this eye to be the cyborg guy, I could just use my brush, and uh, I'm going to make sure that it's on 100% uh, hardness, just by changing the hardness to that. And we're going to be using the default brush right here, and. Um, yeah, so now we're just going to go over his eye and just making the brush smaller just by using our square bracket keys and just make it go over the eye and there we go. It kind of it kind of um it kind of undoes what we did with the mask by erasing it. So it kind of uh, it's really hard to explain. But um we got the robot and we brought back the eye and we're bringing back the part that we were rubbing uh, using the uh, brush tool. So if I basically used my brush tool and made it a lot bigger and clicked to bring back a lot of the areas that uh, I erased in the first place, it'll bring it all back. So yeah, um, I, hopefully you guys can get that, um, can see what I mean. But we have to make sure we have to turn the opacity back up to 100%. And there we go, we can see the whole eye. And then we can see we actually missed a bit. So let's just go over it, just like, just like that. Okay, so now we've got, we replaced the eye. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. And now we want to add some more facial features. Well, more of the robot. So to do that, we're going to change our brush to 0% uh, hardness. So just right click on your um, your artboard and then just change the, hard, the hardness back to zero. And now we can just erase some of, actually no, we're using our brush tool, so we're not erasing. We are using the brush tool just to bring some, some more of the robot back. Uh, so let's just go over it. You might need to make to get part uh, just to get past certain small areas. You might need to make your brush a bit smaller. So just keep erasing until you think it looks good. Then we're gonna go over the hair because obviously um, we still want it to look like a person. And if we went over the hair, it look a bit it look a bit dodgy. So just make sure we're not going over the hair. We can just use our eraser tool just to erase parts that we don't want. So yeah, if I didn't want that, we could just erase it. Uh, so let's just go a bit more. Okay, I think that looks good. And we're gonna do a bit more down here. Okay, this is all a bit black, so we don't really want this. 
So you can use our eraser tool and just get rid of that and just get it back to the way it was. Also, if you wanted, you could use your pen tool and go along this area that has this kind of a silver lining. I think that's probably the best way of explaining this part. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go along this little ridge in the robot and yeah, let's just go along it. There we go. And now we can just go around here, make our selection, press OK. We don't need to change any of that and then just press delete. And there we go, we have, oh, do not need to zoom out that much. We can see that this ridge is um, is the, basically the breaching point, but we don't really want that, we we'll kind of want to fade. So yeah, it's all about messing around, seeing what looks good. Um, okay, that fade looks good, uh, might increase, maybe make it a bit more of a fade. The bigger the brush, the more there's going to be, a, uh, the bigger the fade. So yeah, that's something to bear in mind as well. Um, we might actually go right up until the hairline, so yeah. If you want it to be a bit more, like, if you want to do it a bit carefully, you would make sure the brush is quite small, just so you're, like, more intricate in your, in your using your brush. Now we might go over to this side, do a bit more on this side. Um, again, we don't want to go over the hair. And, yeah, so we'll just find whatever looks good. We might make our brush a bit bigger. Do down here. And, yeah, okay, that is looking pretty good. And we can keep doing this until we made until we're satisfied with it basically and of course you might not be using the same ro robot as me like I mentioned earlier you can try get try and mess around with different robots because well because I'm making this tutorial and um, you might see a few designs you with this robot so it might be good just to mix it up a little bit and you might be able to find some really cool images for yourself to use and yeah they might look really good so um, yeah now we have this um, we have our nice robot effect onto our player we now want to Click onto our the main image, make a new layer so it goes above the main image and below all the all the um, the cyborg effects. Go to our brush tool. And now we're going to make this brush black, just like that, just by changing the color by going over here, and uh, we make it a bit bigger. And now we're just going to dot these um, this black brush just on the edge of our cyborg effect. Alright, so now we've done that, we're going to change our blending option, which is over here, to overlay. And there we go, it adds this really cool of um, burning it. Well, I don't know if you want to really call it a burning effect. And uh, it, it just kind of makes it look more appropriate, really. And um, you might notice that you've done a bit too much, so you might want to use your eraser tool just to erase parts that you don't really want to, um, to look too red. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to get rid of this little bit on the, of the... Um, robot so much just erase that just like that and now we can go back to our black brush uh, layer and then we can just add some more just by using the brush again okay that looks really cool we've got this nice effect here and um, now we can add like a little glow to the eye this is something that I did on the speed art I did of Lewandowski and uh, yeah so you guys can go check out that speed art if you want to see me do this effect uh, yeah, so um, we're gonna. So we want the the glow to be blue. So we're gonna change our foreground color to a nice blue, just like that, nice and bright. And make sure we we're doing it on the new layer, and it's above all of the other layers. So now we're gonna zoom in a little, and we're just gonna do one click onto the eye, and then we're gonna change the blending option to color dodge. And there we go. We have this really cool, um, really cool glow from his eye. So yeah, it's just really quick and simple. It's really easy to uh, make this effect. It looks really good as well. So yeah, and you can incorporate these into your Twitter headers and all that. And if you do incre um, incorporate this design, I um, mean, incorporate this technique onto your designs, don't forget to tweet them at me because I like to uh, see you guys' designs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.